Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very exciting video. It is the eyeshadow palette tag video that my favorite YouTuber, Samantha March, did in collaboration with LA Glines. So it's just a bunch of different questions regarding eyeshadow palettes and I figured it would be something fun to do, a little get to know me and you'll get to see some of my favorite and least favorite eyeshadow palettes in my collection. And yeah. So let's get started. I'm going to link Samantha and Ali's video down below so that you guys can go take a look at their videos as well. It's a really fun tag so that you guys can see which palettes they've included, see if we've got any in common. And yeah, so let's get started. So the very first question is the newest palette to my collection. So I've actually gotten... I guess four palettes at the same time, so I don't know which one will be the newest, but it is the three palettes, uh, the three nude palettes from Huda Beauty. So I've got the light nude palette, the medium nude palette, and the rich palette. So I'll just go through and show you what each one looks like inside. So actually, I'm going to turn this light off. There we go. Now you can see better. So there's the light palette. Here is the medium. And here is the rich. So that's for the Huda Beauty palettes, the naked palette, or the new palette, sorry. Then I also have the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette, which I love. So these were all purchased at the same time. So I guess they're all new to my collection. Next, we have the oldest palette of my collection. So this one I have had ever since I started my makeup collection. I don't know if this is still good, but it is the Makeup Forever Professional Nine Pan Shadows. I'll show you what the inside looks like and I've had this since the beginning. It is definitely a well-used palette and I used to use this all the time. I use, they're all shimmers basically um, and this is all I used to use on my eyes to be honest. Before I knew how eyeshadow worked and stuff like that, how to blend and how to use matte colors with shimmers, this guy is what I used. I don't know if I could ever get rid of this palette. I really, really do love it. All right, the most expensive palettes that I have, to be honest, um, the most expensive formula would probably have to be the Natasha Denona um, because her large palettes are like $129 or something like that. These ones aren't too bad. These are the bite size palettes. This is the mini nude. Um, and it is, I believe, $25 Canadian or $28 Canadian. So it definitely is a lot of money for what you're getting in a palette. But if I was to say the most expensive eyeshadow palette, if we don't count the amount that you pay per product with Natasha Denona, it would have to be my Huda Beauty palettes. So I have the Huda Beauty New Nude palette, which looks like this. And then I have also the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette remastered which looks like this. So these two would probably be the most expensive palettes in my collection. So the next question is the least expensive palette. So this one I know for a fact is the same as what Samantha had mentioned, but it is the e.l.f. Bite Size palettes. I believe these are maybe like $3.99 Canadian, which is nothing, and they work so well. So I currently have three of them, in my collection, I have the Eau de Rose in my collection. I can open them up to show them to you. So that's that one. I really love this palette too. Then I have the Truffle palette. It just looks like that. It's a very pretty nude. And then I have the Cream and Sugar palette. That 
from there. Definitely do want to get a few more of these. They have different colors, so I'd like to eventually have all of them since, you know, they're not expensive. So next up is my everyday palette. So I have two in this category, actually. Um, I have the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette, which I just mentioned for the smallest palette. Or for the, sorry, the most expensive palette. So this one is this one. Because it's just got your everyday nudes. It's definitely one of my favorites. And I definitely use it a lot. But I'd have to say, this is definitely my tried and true. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I have used this palette so much. It is my probably my most loved palette as well. Um, and definitely my favorite. So that is what this looks like. You can definitely see that I have hit pan on a few shades in this palette. So you have your, so you have your rosy tones here. You have terracotta like kind of colors. You have burnt orange and I just beautiful shimmers. I find it such a perfect palette. And then we have the next question is the most colorful palette. So I would have to say the most colorful palette that I personally have is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the, the first one that she came out with. I have definitely not dipped into the shim into the colorful shades, which are here mainly. I am definitely not. I am such a neutral girl, but if I'd have to pick one palette that is the color, the most colorfulest palette, it would definitely have to be this one. So the next question actually is the biggest palette, which I guess this takes the cake for that too because it is definitely the biggest palette that I have. It's definitely huge. So if you take into consideration, let's just say the Huda Beauty, it's like basically double the size of this. So it definitely is the biggest eyeshadow palette that I own. I definitely do love this palette though. I love all the formulas and like I really like the shadows. Just have to experiment maybe with color one day. So the best memory palette, that is the next question. So that would actually have to be the Too Faced Chocolate Burr palette. This is actually the palette that I was wearing on the first, I guess, date that I went on with my boyfriend and he's the love of my life and this palette means so much to me it's just got all the perfect neutral tones and shimmers that you could ask for it's got a little bit of pops of color as well and it's just overall one of my favorite palettes that i have and i would have to say that's probably the the palette that has the most memory because it is what i was wearing when it brought us together and it started our whole journey together yeah, definitely the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. All right, next up is a palette that was worth the hype. So for this one, I would have to say, again, it is the Huda Beauty Nude Palettes. These got so much hype on YouTube and for good reason. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, they are very, very popular, and I have to say, I agree 100%. I love doing looks with these palettes. They're nude palettes, and they're so blendable. The shimmer shadows, the matte shadows, everything in these palettes is absolutely great. Um, and I definitely think that these were worth the hype, in my opinion, for a nude girl lover. Yes, absolutely. And then, not worth the hype... I'm sorry to say. So in my eyeshadows, I like palettes where I can just look at it once and know that I'm going to do an eyeshadow look with it. Know what eyeshadow look I can do. Has a theme. I'm not really artistic in the way that where a bunch of shadows are like different colors and stuff and I'll know 
basically how to pair them up. And I really find this shadow, this eyeshadow palette just confusing for me. I just, I'm not a big fan of it. It was super hyped on YouTube. And I fell into the hype and I bought it. But when I got it and I tried to play with it, I just got so confused. I've maybe only used this palette a handful of times, to be honest. And I'm just not a fan of it. And that is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. So this palette is so popular, or was back in the day. And I just could not. I just, I find it too confusing. I don't know. I mean, I could pick out like a a nude look with it, but I, I don't know. I just don't ever reach for it very much. I've maybe done like two or three looks and that's it with this palette. I just find it too confusing and I don't ever really use it. I know it is a loved one on, on YouTube and a lot of people do love that palette, but for me, just not worth the hype, to be honest. And now this is to show a palette uh, from, so a favorite palette from a favorite brand. So I would have to say, for me, it would be the Anastasia Soft Glam. I love Anastasia palettes. I have a lot of them in my collection. She is the brand that I have probably the most of in my collection. And I love her eyeshadow formula. And for the Soft Glam palette, I just find that it's perfect for everyday looks. And you can also glam it up with this palette if you wanted to go in with some of the darker tones in the crease and you can use this every day for work. I just find that overall it is a very nice palette. You've got a good array of different shimmers and you've got an inner corner highlight. I just, beautiful transition shades and I just think that this is overall the perfect palette that you can use on a daily basis. And you can definitely use it to glam up and every day. So this is definitely one of my favorite palettes. That is the Anastasia Soft Glam. All right, guys. So that is it for this video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy it. It was definitely a fun video to put together and kind of think about, you know, different memories and what I love, what I don't love so much. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I just figured it would be a little bit different than, you know, the, the iconic eyeshadow palette looks or getting ready with me and things like that so I figured that you guys might enjoy this so definitely let me know your thoughts below I can list the questions also down below in the description box if you guys want to answer them yourselves and let me know which palettes you like and yeah so I hope that you guys will subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video and leave a comment down below also tap that notification bell if you want to be advised when I upload next all right guys have a good day mm -hmm.